So there's all relatively quiet to be honest with you. There's none yeah. there's none actually um So we're going to step back now, and I'm going to put these lifts back on the top. And um. Oh yeah. Oh. So how did it come about? You're going to have these in. Yeah. I can't actually remember who contacted whom, but I provide a rented, a rented activity, a rented service to the corporate, and they pay for these to be here. And the tenants, such as Amanda and others, can come over on the periodic basis. Uh, I'll try to come in at uh, lunchtime. And I'm, I'm willing to, to, um, to, to fill up the water. I said at one time we could teach me how to do that. Yeah, perhaps I've, got more that. To, yeah, cause I've got the, the, the majority coming in that one. Sorry, uh -huh. the majority of stores and things have got time. There oh, will be another oh. container to go on. Yeah. And, I, and then I in the spring, when we're not putting on, on that much, yeah. just a little bit to encourage them to breed and, and, and lay eggs. That will be when the jars will start to go in. Because um, we need to try and keep this medication, this garlic, going in all the time. Because they need to have the varroa suppressed in. Varroa is one of the biggest problems that these people have got at the moment. Um, there are other diseases. But is it an invasive disease? Pardon me? Is it an invasive disease? It's been around. It's, uh, no, varroa is coming over the last 15 to 20 years. It started off in Southern Europe and it's worked its way north. There's something called the small hive beetle, which, which, is, which is just as destructive because it brings in other viruses and bacteria on its legs and reinfects the, the colony. Um, but the, the, so if you turn have a look, you stand up and have a look, this is um, the decision they now effectively trying to tidy up the mess I've made by breaking the two. And that's why we're, I don't think it's probably to avoid it. And there isn't a need to really. But these these containers are really good. Um, and we put it stands off the hive. We put a ladder so we can climb up to find it. Otherwise, we've got to fly out and they don't do it, and it takes ages. So I'm going to take this back home now. We won't need that anymore. But um, I'll, 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 I might put that back in there for the others to see. Yeah. yeah. So what? So what? You don't give them the water over the water. Build it up at some point. Uh, we we stopped feeding around the end of November. 
Oh, okay. Because it takes heat to convert that. Yeah, yeah. And the outside is colder still, and, they, and it's just too late in the summer for them to do their conversion. Oh, I'd yeah. forgotten that. Pro 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 I'd forgotten that. Oh, and yeah. if you leave half converted feed in there, it will go sour, and then they'll eat it and they'll get this tree and all sorts of. I love the sour.